Hello everyone. My name is Shalini Patro. I am a senior software developer with Simulink Code Inspector team. Today I'm here to talk about an exciting new feature in Simulink Code Inspector called interactive code reviews. Now before I introduce you to the new feature, let me give you a quick recap of Code Inspector app. To explain that, let's take an example of reviewing a compatible module. Compatibility indicates that the model under consideration can be used for inspection. A user can check whether their model is compatible or not by running compatibility check. The results of the compatibility checks are directly shown in the Code Inspector app. For example, this is a compatible model and we can observe that all the compatibility checks are passing. The next step is code generation. You can either use your existing code or generate code using Code Inspector app by clicking on the generate code button. After this, you can run the inspection on the model and get the verification result. Observe here that the compatible model passes inspection. We can also verify that all the model elements are getting verified by the Code Inspector app. Similarly, you can also check for the verification status of code lines using Code tab. In order to generate a more detailed report of the inspection, you can use Generate Report button. In the first example, we saw that by running inspection on a compatible model, users are able to fully verify all the model elements as well as code lines. In the second example, let's take a look at incompatible model. Now, Simulink is constantly evolving, whereas today SLCI only supports a subset of these Simulink blocks. So usage of an unsupported block leads to incompatible model. Running inspection on such models may lead to partially verified model. Let me explain this with an example. Let's modify compatible model from the first example to add some. Now, if we run compatibility check on this updated model, you can see compatibility check failed and warns you about the incompatibility. Now, if you still go ahead and run the inspection on this model, you can see that the incompatible model leads to inspection warning. How can you proceed now? In order to help you to overcome this minor speed bump, Code Inspector has come up with a new feature called justification. You can move ahead with your inspection by interactively justifying the block. Justification feature help user to justify the blocks as well as code lines which are partially processed by Code Inspector app. You can click on the new justification icon. This will open the justification dialog for you. You can observe here that the unable to process block Simulink identifier has already been populated for you. Then you can go ahead and add the corresponding code lines for justification followed by justification description and apply the justification. You can see how the status of the model element change from unable to process to justified. Similarly, you can justify all the existing warning. The status of the model element changed to justify, but in order to change the overall status of the warning, you will need to rerun the inspection. You can also generate the detailed report that shows the justification description. Now let's take another example where you came across inspection warning. Now let's think of a scenario where uh, we have to hand modify the generated code to add an extra line of code. Doing so, we may lead to a partially verified code. For example, here I have added a zero initialization code. Now if I run inspection on this model, I'll see a warning. As you can see, it's a write after write message coming because of the zero initialization of the code. With this help of new feature, you can also justify code lines. You can click on the justification icon. Here you can justify the code line using the block Simulink identifier. Now in order to get the Simulink identifier of the block, you need to select the block and click on this button. This button will automatically insert the block Simulink identifier into this text box. Then you can go ahead and add the justification description 
and hit apply. You can see the block has been justified. Another use case which is helpful is if you already have a justification added to your model, but now you wanted to add more information to that justification. You can do so by using the edit feature of the justification. You can click on the edit button which let you modify the justification dialog box. You can save your just existing justification view with new added description. You can also delete an existing justification by using the delete button. It will ask you to reconfirm your action. All these new features are getting shipped with our 2022B release. Now few of the future enhancement you can look out for include migration of justification data, which helps you to automatically uh, migrate the JSON in case your model get updated. Integration of justification with source control and CI system and Delta reviews. Thank you.